Most mobile games are meant to be played casually, with no intention of working hard, and with every intention of sitting back and relaxing, for most people. Some people like to push the limits of these games, and one of these games I'll be talking about today is Catbird. Catbird is a mobile puzzle platformer released in August 2017 by Rayumi to a high level of success. The game was well received and has hit over 1 million downloads on its Android release alone. However, due to both its size and intriguing gameplay, the game has also attracted a sizable speedrunning community with the Discord server totaling over 110 players. Of the 18 categories Catbird has on speedrun.com, Martyrs Any% percent, No Major Glitches is the most popular of them, with over 150 runs submitted by 128 players. Over the course of two and a half years, the time to beat Marda has been taken down again and again due to the continuous effort of the Catbird community. So without further ado, here's the history of Marda's No Major Glitches Any% percent. One thing I want to clear up before diving into the history is the timing method. In game time has always been the official timing method of the game. However, numerous runs have been and still are submitted accompanied by RTA timing. Some not even bothering to add the in game time with their submissions. As such, I'll only be referring to in game time in this video for the sake of simplicity and to avoid confusion. The first world record was Science 514, set on October 19th, 2017. Overall, his run was far from perfect. His movement was sloppy in certain levels of the run, and none of the current strategies used today were in his run, mostly due to the fact they hadn't yet been discovered. There were numerous mistakes in his run, and it wouldn't take long for it to be beaten. Well, I found the game on the Android App Store, whatever it's called, and I played it through at school, and it seemed pretty fun, so I thought, uh, why, why not speed run it? Why not do that? And I went to check if there was a board for it on speedrun.com, and there was, and there was only like three runs. So I decided to do that. On October 29th, a player named Nefarious Monkey would submit his 510 run. There weren't any strategy changes, so the driver improved in cleaner movement. The death abuse used in Sion's Plummet was also used here, one of the key features of older runs. The way a death abuse works is as follows. In Catbird, when you either enter a level or restart it from the pause menu, a little animation of the Catbird jumping up and spinning around plays, but all of the moving parts of the level are already moving. However, when you die, you would just go right into the level again without the animation playing, therefore giving a head start and allowing you to make faster cycles with much more ease, making them possible in the first place. By this point, numerous players were striving to get a sub-510 run, and the general thoughts at the time was that a sub-5 run would be nearly impossible. So the emotions of the community on November 14th when Stereo submitted a 459 run on speedrun.com was nothing other than complete shock and disbelief. A respectable time today was a goliath at the time, using almost all of the known strats at the time to make what was considered at the time to be perfection. A few days later, however, Nefarious Monkey would upload a video of a deathless plummet to the Discord to the delight of the community. This trick, referred to as Fast Plummet, saved 4 seconds in comparison to the death trick commonly used in runs and become a staple of Marta's runs. Zerio's record would last the rest of 2017, but not without attempts to dethrone him by players such as Silver, Tail, and Mr. Uppercase T, both of whom joined the community in early January 2018. But just like Stereo, Mr. Uppercase T would claim the world record in less than two weeks after joining the community. His run incorporated numerous strats, including the recently discovered Fast Plummet. However, the pixel jump and magic key wasn't used because the accuracy needed made it extremely inconsistent. His run wouldn't last long, however, and the world record was soon taken back by Stereo, who at this point started to specialize in running Marta. Stereo's run saved time thanks to a faster buzz cut and a cleaner grumble. Despite being well executed, there was still a possibility for a time save. The pixel perfect jump and magic key still wasn't being used, and a few months later it would be topped by Mr. Uppercase T with a 450, with a major time save coming from once again better execution as well as the use of several tricks, including the pixel jump and magic key which he had finally mastered, the double bounce and upwards which had accidentally been discovered by a player known as Ryguy, and the spike jump and long way, which at the time was incredibly difficult and highly inconsistent. Mr. Uppercase's T record stood for the rest of 2018. Nobody wanted to grind to have the skill to pull off all of these tricks, in particular Spike Jump, which had no setup at the time and was wildly inconsistent. However, a runner named that one guy NNN, otherwise known as Fog, had 
set out on a quest to claim the world record. From November 2018 to January 2019, he would grind like crazy, and after more than 500 attempts, he managed to achieve this run, the 449. Something no one even wanted to attempt had finally been accomplished, and with Catbird being featured on AGDQ as the first ever mobile game ever at the event, the game was as active as ever, with an active discussion on the Discord and several new strategies being found throughout all four worlds. Uh, what originally got me in the catbird was actually like a combination of things and not just like one thing. Um, so at the time, my friend was like, his name is Dynamite. And he was pressuring me into getting in the speedrunning, right? Because he was really big in speedrunning now. He's not anymore. He streams Mario Maker 2 now. But he was really big into um, speedrunning. And obviously, I was starting to get interested. So, um, and also recently at the time, I downloaded Catbird. And I saw that Catbird actually had a um, time trial mode. And when I saw that tri time trial mode, I was like, hey, this is like a pretty good game to speedrun. So I started doing attempts of Zipsa. I think I set myself a limit of three deaths or something so I could get the achievement. And I got, in my first ever time was like a five, I think it's like a 535 or something. But yeah, that's what really got it, that's what really got me started in to, um, specifically Catbird. Honestly, when I first set that record, I thought it would be, I didn't think it was perfect, but I didn't think it was like, as bad i like i thought that maybe 447 maybe 446 would be the limit when i said it and yeah obviously new strats got discovered but like i feel like it was half new strats getting discovered that led to the like current world record and half just people being more optimized than me because honestly people were just more optimized more optimal than me because i think whenever um Theon and Psycode got it. I think I forget which one. I think it was Theon. He did it without spike jump, which kind of proved to me that my record wasn't that good. <laughs> and then, um, just a little like I guess side history. I guess whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually planned for going on going for 447, but um, I actually eventually just ended up quitting before I even attempted for it. So yeah, kind of a bit sad, but yeah. Normally, Fog's run would have lasted at least half a year, but he wasn't the only player who'd been grinding out Marta. Some other players, such as Psychod and Fion, have been developing their skills and were able to eventually match that one guy's 449. It was neck and neck, and any one of the players could have claimed the untied world record, and in the end, it would be Psychod who would take it as his own, once again polishing the movement to a degree nearing perfection. However, on the same day Psychod submitted the run, he discovered a faster cycle in the ground book, which saved the run a second from the run had the world time jump having only a few frames to jump. And while just a small time save at the time, it was a precursor for one of the major breakthroughs of the run. On April 9th, 2019, Psychoed uploaded a run of grassy old crowns to the leaderboard. It wasn't well executed, in fact it had a bunch of mistakes, there was something very important in the run, pause and play. The technique was a fairly recent one, with archives showing that was only discussed since March of 2019, but Psychoed 710 showed how much could be done with pause and play. The revelation of how powerful this track could be, the fight to take the world record began, a one player would dominate Marta in the coming year. Fian was one of the best runners of the game, but by the time Psycho had set the world record, Fian didn't have any untied world records on the leaderboard, though he did tie in some of the times on the leaderboard such as the previous world record for Marta. I got into Catbird around the same time as I joined the mobile speedrunning discord. Everyone recommended the game to me as it was one of the most popular mobile games to run even back then in late 2018. So I downloaded the game, did a few runs, and was hooked ever since. That all changed in April of 2019, where he would achieve one of his first untied world records in the All Crowns category of Marta. A few days later he would achieve a 446 in any percent, his first untied world record in the category. His run would be the first ever in the category to utilize the pause and play technique as well as fast crumble to help him save time on the run. Despite his more safe techniques, seen fraud such as the lack of a spike hop in long way, the pixel jump in magic key. His record would just barely last a week with Psychod reclaiming the world record with a 445 due to the fact that he'd been using more risky strats compared to Fion, such as magic keys pixel jump. This run would last far longer than Fion's 446, all the way up to November, but that didn't mean that Fion had given up. 
No, he was gearing up to reclaim the record, and on November 19th, he delivered a 4.41 run. There weren't any optimization strategies. In fact, pause and play had been completely ditched from the run. The run was rather just a testament to the optimization possible in Catbird's movement. Skimming a few seconds off the run simply due to the precise jumps seen throughout the run, the precision and perfection of its movement. Fiano would once again get the world record a month later, on December 23rd with a 440, once again optimizing his movement to a higher degree. The run was again a model example of how well movement could be used in the run, be one final time barrier to defeat, Sub 440. Sub 440 didn't happen for a long time. It seemed that Marta was at its limit, and several very skilled people such as Shipwreck, God, Shueko, Big Unit, and Psycho got thousands of attempts between them, but none of them were able to get Sub 40. Finally, on March 1st, Fionn would finally unhoard the run everybody was waiting for, his ultimate 439. To his admission, the early half wasn't as well executed as he'd like it to have been, but the run had one feature that would just illustrate how advanced Catbird had become. Pause and play had finally been used effectively in a full world run, being used in soft face and double trouble. The run featured every possible trick and option. The thing is, Wildfond 2020 was coming up in April, so if any mobile game runs were being hoarded, especially one as well executed as Fion's run, why wouldn't he wait for Wamafon to unhoard his run? On April 14th, 2020, Fion would submit this run to the leaderboards. 438 is 1,000 submitted run on speedrun, which had only been revealed some 80 days after it had been achieved. At the end of the video, when it was first revealed at Wamafon, he opened up his stats just to show the viewers what had gone into this game. Some 168 hours and weeks worth of effort, all to save seconds, not just in Marta, but in optimizing every single part of this game. To this day, he has a top 3 run in every single glitchless full game category on speedrun.com. What are your thoughts on the current world record? Um, <laughs> well, the game is so much more optimized now and it looks f actually fast and it looks like a speedrun rather than a fast casual playthrough like it used to be in 2017 and maybe even early to mid 2018. Theon's world record is, <laughs> like, probably, I, I don't know how to describe it, you can, like, at least when I was watching it, you could tell that he put a lot of time, like, a lot of time into this, like, it's, at least to me, you know, someone who hasn't really been watching the runs over, like, pretty much since I quit, it looks like almost everything's perfect, it, there's like only a couple times throughout the run where I could tell he actually made a mistake. Like, it, it honestly looked like... <laughs> I, I, I kind of imagine that's what a Taz would look like for Catbird. Like, what his run is. Because it's just that insane. Like, I, 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 I have no, no other words other than that was the most insane thing. Because honestly, it's like... Even though it's only 11 seconds better than me, it's insane just how optimized it is. I would not be surprised if that run lasts, like, years because of how good it is. And plus, no one, and I don't think anyone currently wants to even try for it. So, yeah, I honestly would not be surprised if that lasts a really, really long time. I think the current world record is good. It's not my proudest record, but I'm definitely happy with the time. 438 is 12 seconds faster, IGT, from when I joined the community, so it's amazing how far we've come. There are definitely improvements here and there, most notably implementing new strategies and up and down. We've always said the human limit was 434 to 435. If every single strat was used and everything was perfect, then that's a good estimate. When I set my record, it was mid to late January, just before lunchtime, and my mom was telling me to hurry up so I could eat. That's exactly what I did. My thoughts on the current world record? I think the run is absolutely beautiful. But getting at 437 is within my capacity, because the only trick that I really struggle with is the pixel jump and magic key. And I can easily swap that out with going under the third saw and saw face, which saves even more time. But all in all, the run is brilliant, and if me or somebody else were to try and break it, then it would certainly take a lot of patience and determination.
For now, that's the end of Marta's Any% percent history. The record does have a lot of potential for improval, but it required movement that Zaggy's rarely seen in runs, a player crazy enough to try it. However, there are two runners that are still grinding for lower and lower times and getting promising results, Shipwreck and Gachueco. Fion himself might even return to the game. From what I can see, there's no better time to get into the game than now. Who knows, maybe you can cement yourself into the speedrunning history of Catbird. <laughs> Man, <sighs> thanks to everybody for like helping me with this. For like making this what it could be man this video should have come out like weeks ago but there was some weird like shit going on my side man that's unfortunate but anyways thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this like subscribe all of that uh, stuff you know just like subscribe because like yeah, i'm definitely gonna be making more of these <laughs> yeah see y'all